Good morning. Oh, I see our kindergartners there. Oh, well, welcome. As well as our fourth graders and the mysterious grade. Oh, eighth graders. Yay, well, well, welcome all. We begin our prayers always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we're going to take a moment of silence to still ourselves from the busyness of this morning and also to ask the Lord to forgive anything that we've done wrong, that the Lord may help us to be our better self. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Today, the church remembers a saint by the name of Robert Bellaman. He was both a bishop and a doctor of the church. O oh God, who adorned the Bishop St. Robert Bellarmine with wonderful learning and virtue to vindicate the faith of your church, grant through his intercession that in the integrity of that same faith, your people may always find joy. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of a body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews, Greeks, slaves, or free persons, and we're all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongue. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. The response is, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord. All, all your lands serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We are his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Are his people the sheep of his flock? Please stand. Alleluia, 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 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples in a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the, loss, when the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever felt jealous of someone else? Or maybe, maybe not jealous, but sometimes when you see other people doing so well and then you kind of become very self-conscious that, gosh, I wish I could do better. I can't do as well as he can do it or as well as she can do it. Well, if you ever felt that way, you're not alone. I remember when I was in the seminary. The seminary is a, a school to become a priest. I was in the seminary, and my next door neighbor, we take the same class, and he's just so, so smart. I mean, it's almost like he doesn't even have to do any homework, and he just knows it all. And I have to work really, really hard. And so sometimes I just feel jealous. It's like, ah, oh, gosh, he has it so easy. I have to work so hard. I wish I was like that. So sometimes we have feelings like that. Or maybe it's in sports. I remember playing soccer, and one of our teammates, he was just so good at soccer. He could just move that ball around me like I can't, I can't even, like, I can't even stop him. He just kind of moves that ball so, so, so quickly and so uh, cleverly around me. So some people are able to do real, things really well, and then sometimes we feel like, oh, I wish I could do better. I wish I could be more like him or more like her. You ever feel that way? Anyway, but what we heard in today's first reading. So first reading, Kira was reading. St. Paul was telling us that, you know, we are the body of Christ. And so just as a body has different parts, then we are all different. But we're all different parts are important. We, we're all gifted. We're all special. And just as like the body, there's different parts. If you are jealous about the other person being an eye, oh, that's such a beautiful eye, and you wish you were an eye. But if you're an eye, and there's already two eyes, what, are you going to be a third eye? And if everybody's going to be an eye, that's going to be one funny body, right? A bunch of eyes on the body. No, we're all different. God created us all to be different, and we are all gifted, and we need to do our part. Some parts are visible. You can see it. And some parts are not visible. But they're equally important, right? So imagine you can't see the bones, but imagine if the body had no bones. Wouldn't that be funny? We're all just be a blob or something. Or the heart. You can't see the heart, but the heart helps move all the blood inside the body. And then there's the veins, and then there's the muscles, and there's the lungs. So some parts are more visible, other parts are not, but all are important, right? So God is saying to us also, you're all important. Maybe you can't do soccer as well as my classmate, 
or maybe you're not like super smart with books, but you know, we all are gifted. We all are gifted. We don't have to be jealous about what other people have. We just have to develop what we have. So later in the seminar, I found out one thing I'm really good at, a very good listener. So we had this counseling class. So as priests, we also learned to be counselors. So um, the super smart friend, he was really smart with books. But when we took the counseling class, he was like asking me, it's like, how does this work? How do you read somebody? How do you understand what they're feeling? So he could read books, but he found it hard to read someone else. Eventually, he got better at it too. But we can all discover our gifts, and that's part of the adventure in life. We discover um, who we are and our gifts, and when we use it, we can be we can be happy with it. We can bless other people. Today, we remember this uh, bishop called Robert Bellarmine. Robert Bellarmine, if you knew him when he was a young man, he wouldn't think anything of him because he was such a short guy. And so if you look at him, it's like, okay, well, that's just, you know, you, you would just look away at something else. You wouldn't uh, think much of him. But he turned out to be such a good teacher. And he was a wonderful teacher. So he's a patron saint to uh, people who teach religion, to catechists. He turned out to be a wonderful teacher. He would, you know, he was able to explain things that ordinary people can understand. It's not just for the smart people. Uh, and then they were, he was so good at it, they chose him to become a bishop. A bishop is a teacher of the faith. And then he was even considered to become a pope. But then they thought, you know what? Pope needs guides, advisors also. So they made him a cardinal. A cardinal is uh, somebody that helps a pope. And so um, today's, I think today, the theme for today is God has made each of us special. Do you guys ever watch Veggie Tales? They're so much fun. Uh, so I guess is that Larry the cucumber, and then who's the tomato? I forget the tomato's name. Oh, is it Bob? No. Anyway, so um, we are reminded that each of us are special. We don't have to be jealous about what other people have. We just develop the gift that we have, and then we can be uh, and make our world a better place. Okay? Who has the petitions? Do you guys have the petitions? Oh, good. Come on up and let's continue. Bring our prayers to God. Please stand. Jesus taught us to bring our worries, our fears to God, and so we bring to God these petitions. We pray for all the leaders of the church. We pray that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to make good decisions and teach other ways to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the world leaders that they work towards peace and a brighter future. We also pray for all the people involved in the government that they work together to make good decisions to benefit everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those affected by the wildfires of California and other natural disasters. We also pray for all the first responders and ev any, everyone willing to help others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those striving to be a good member of the community, that they continue to be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who are sick that they may feel God's gentle touch of nur nurture and care, and also that they may find joy in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the members of the St. Anne community and parish who have died, and they are happy with, in heaven with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. We pray for any other intentions that we hold close to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family members and friends of Julian and Pedro Bartolome ask us to remember them. They have died already, and so we pray that the Lord welcome them to heaven and that the Lord can comfort their family and friends who miss them. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, thank you for hearing our prayers, and in your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Have you learned this song? So I will sing, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. And then you respond with, Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Okay? So we do this twice, once for the bread and then once for the wine. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness we've bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, Thanks to your goodness, we've wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God 
forever. Amen. Here we go. Please stand and together let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Robert Bellarmine, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Robert, you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Julian and Pedro Bartolome and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand and together, Jesus taught us to ask God for the daily bread that we need. So together we pray, our Father, who art. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Robert Bellarmine, we may strive to profess what he believed and practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. I want to thank those who prepared for today's Mass, our readers, our gift bearers, our altar servers. So thank you all for preparing for today's Mass. Okay. The Lord be with you. Mm, kinda, I can f kinda feel it. The Lord be with you. Oh, I feel it, I feel it. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. <laughs>